Let's talk about fuse boxes. One of the quickest and easiest ways to tell if you might need a full rewire is to determine the age of the fuse box. If it's an old antiquated thing, the chances are the wiring will be of the same age and it may well need replaced soon. So firstly, what is a fuse box? Well, in layman's terms, uh, we call it a consumer unit. It's otherwise known as a distribution board and probably a distribution board describes it best. You will have a large cable that comes into your property and supplies power to your home. That cable's got to be split down into smaller cables and distributed throughout the property. When you decrease the size of a cable, it can only take so much power. So we have to put a fuse on that cable to make sure it doesn't take any more power than it's designed to. How we used to do this was by using fuse wire, which you may remember, and you would tie it around two little screws and put it in a fuse and put it back in the consumer unit. The method of protection there was that if too much power was going through that cable, it would heat up and eventually snap and cut the circuit. So it worked, it worked fine for many, many years, um, but you can tell the technology there is a little old school and relying on something to heat up like that uh, is not great. So what used to happen a lot of time is people would put the wrong size of fuse wire in, people would put things like nails in, um, and if that is not going to snap when it gets too warm, then the cable is going to take all that heat and potentially become a fire risk. So in the rest of this video, we're going to look at some old fuse boxes and then we'll finish up by showing you a new modern Hager dual RCD consumer unit that we would install in your full rewire. So this is a MEM Memrex, quite an old thing. It's about 80 years old and this isn't the oldest we take out actually, if you've got anything made of wood then it's probably older again and needs replaced urgently. One of the most important things we should probably highlight with all of these old fuse boxes is a lot of them have asbestos rope in the back of the fuse carrier. Now at Home Rewire we're trained to deal with that and these have all been suitably cleaned uh, but there's still asbestos in there so it's important we don't take those fuses out. If you imagine someone still has this in their property, then every time they take that fuse out, they're exposing themselves to asbestos. So that's bad. Um, add on the fact that electrically it's really unsafe, then it needs replaced pretty urgently. So two fuses, one for the neutral, one for the live, which is bad. We don't want to fuse down neutrals anymore. And you can see the old mechanics here. Basically a switch on the side, switch it on, and this is going to power up one circuit. If you've got an old MEM Memrex in your property, it definitely needs rewired. Another quick example of an old thing here, let's take a close up. You can see here it says 60 amps, that means this box is designed to take 60 amps, but the fuses inside are rated down to 15 and 30 amps, which means the circuits those supply can only take 15 or 30 amps. And if the power goes above that, this fuse should cut out. Up next is this, it's still metal. This is a Wirelex board and more modern, probably 30, 40 years old. The big change here is we've got little cartridge fuses. So these are better, no asbestos in these. And these are rated again 30, 15 and five. And standard switch here. Some of these installations have wiring which is not that old actually and uh, on occasion we could maybe just replace the consumer unit and leave the wiring. Um, it depends on the tests and whether the insulation resistance values are acceptable. We don't really advise putting new consumer units on wiring that's still 30, 40 years old but it can be done and sometimes you may not need to fully rewire. Wilex. Now this one is slightly different. This has got an off-peak supply on it, which you may have heard before. If you've got a property that's got uh, storage heaters, or uh, perhaps it's in a high-rise flat, then you have potentially two or three electrical supplies on different tariffs. This consumer unit was designed to uh, feed all of those tariffs, so you would run two supplies into this, one in the off-peak, one in the normal, and this would supply your storage heaters at night and your normal general circuits during the day. Really popular on high-rise flats, and uh, you, there's a good chance if you've got one of these, the wiring might be done through a conduit system, which could be really easy to rewire. Again, 30, 40 years old, could be doing with some attention. 
So next up we have uh, Simplex by General Electric. So a big advance here, for the first time we've got trip switches. And basically this means if there's a fault on the circuit, you can come back to the consumer unit and literally just reset it. No messing around with fuse wire, no um, trying to figure out what the correct fuse wire is. Come back to the board, bump the breaker up and the power should go back on. So still a pretty basic level of protection, but a big advance from the ones we've looked at before. So before we go into new consumer units, if you've still got concerns about your electrical installation, simply visit homerewire.com. From there, you can upload a picture of your fuse box and we'll reply an email with a detailed response. We can help you gauge the age of the fuse box, and potentially whether you may need some rewiring work or a simple electrical upgrade. So here we are, a brand new Hager Dual RCD 18th edition consumer unit. This is what we're going to install on your full rewire. So let's take a peek inside. So this looks much better, eh? And the big, big advance here is it's got something called RCDs, which you may have heard. It's basically a residual current device, and to put it in layman terms for you, it monitors all faults through an installation. Um, if there's a cable touching earth, if there's a compression, if there's damp, anything at all, this cool little device is going to pick that up and trip out. So much, much more advanced than anything we've looked at in the video. And this one has actually got a further upgrade, which is surge protection. Basically that means if you have a, a surge throughout the house from lightning or anything, it's going to trip out and make sure you don't destroy any of your appliances. So we use Hager. This one's kindly been supplied by our uh, wholesaler, Urban Electrical and Thornley Bank. And we don't believe in using any cheap stuff. It's got to be the best. We don't want callbacks and we want to ensure our customers are getting the best quality installation. So you can see here all the individual circuit breakers. We call these MCBs. So much better than anything else we've looked at already. But the big advance here is RCDs. These are a lifesaver if you're potentially getting a shock and this is going to pick up the, the fact that the current is flowing to earth and it's not doing as it, it should. One of the ways I describe this to people is basically this is monitoring the three cables that you have, live, neutral and earth, and if it detects anything wrong with them, it's just going to trip out right away. It's important though, if you're installing one of these, the wiring is up to scratch. If it's not, you're just going to get what we call nuisance tripping. So if you've got old wiring and you try and put an RCD on it, over time it's going to just start tripping and trying to find that fault can be an absolute nightmare. So we recommend if you're installing RCDs, the installation is in tip top condition. Hager, absolute cracking board. We don't install anything else. And this is what you really want to see in your home. If you're moving home, you should get what's called a home report. On there, there's going to be a section about the electrics. A surveyor will come in and offer a one, two or three to describe the quality and condition of your installation. If he gives you a one, he must have seen something like this, which is good. Chances are you're not going to need to do any electrical work when you move in. If he gives you a three, he must have seen something like this old guy. Chances are you're probably going to need to rewire that property. A number two is the one that causes all the problems. It's difficult for a surveyor to see what's going on behind these fuse boxes or behind the sockets and light switches. They then make a recommendation that the installation should be tested by a suitably qualified electrician. If you're buying a house and you would like some advice, simply send us the address and we can do our research and we can offer you a worst case scenario quote to rewire the property. Even better, if you can get a picture of the fuse box again, we can give you quite an accurate estimation of what might need done. Hope you found this video really, really helpful and please get in touch with Home Rewire Scotland for any electrical rewiring works.